wish 5 million people would watch this video because this kind of stuff and this stuff that has to do with your health and habits around your fitness goals and how you think mentally and how you feel on a daily basis and your natural energy, there's nothing that's more valuable than taking this kind of stuff seriously. What is going on my friends? Welcome back to the Tube of the U with me. Today we are in my kitchen with the lovely decor that you probably saw in the video when I moved in with all the decor, yada yada, you know the story behind this Bailey's bottle. Anyways, today I want to bring you a video that I've been wanting to do for a while now and I'm still gonna do a longer form video of it. I'm just gonna make my dinner tonight but show you a way to meal prep really, really easy, efficiently, and low cost. So it's gonna take probably not even five to 10 minutes of prep time, and then get as many containers as you want of everything, all the ingredients, which I'll show you, and then we'll go into it. But this is kinda one of the simplest meals that I eat. I'm not gonna break, all, break down all the macros and whatnot, but it's just a super easy, efficient meal, and it's healthy, right? So one of the things that we always hear is, oh, I don't have time to eat, or eat healthy, I don't have time to make my meals. Well, you could do this on Sunday, and literally do it in like an hour and have all of your meals for the entire week if you want it. And I'll show you a quick little, some tips and tricks to essentially spice it up a little if you get bored of the same meal. But sometimes I got news for you, when we're trying to be healthy, sometimes it gets a little boring and that's why we reward ourselves sometimes once, twice a week. But anyways, before we get into it, don't forget to like this video. If you're watching these videos and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, click, click. Hit the bell icon as well so you get my notifications, get a notification when my videos come out. I'm realizing that I always stumble on that part of my sales pitch for YouTube. So if you've been watching me, you know that I stumble on that. But anyways, let's get into it. I'm gonna show you the ingredients. Let's have some fun. And welcome to my freezer. We got a bunch of frozen meats grass-fed, yada, 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 that doesn't matter. So this is what we're going with, ground meat. So this, this is ground turkey, this is ground bison, a really lean option. This is ground beef. This would, if you wanted to get whatever ground meat that you want, you can literally go ground chicken, ground turkey, ground bison, ground beef, ground venison. Wow, I did that really quick. But today we're going with ground beef, and I already set that out, thawed it right here, so. Well, it just kind of squirted on me. Anyways, and then the second ingredient is going to be from Costco, a large bag. This is 21 servings per container and has four grams of net carbs and two grams of protein. It's just organic riced cauliflower. Literally, we're going to use the microwave. I usually tend to say don't microwave, yada, yada. But this is one of the easiest things you can get, and if we're trying to be talk, talk about healthy and make things easier, we don't need to overcomplicate it, right? So I'm okay with you using the microwave for some things. So this one right here, like I said, there is however many bags. One cup is considered a serving. So if there's 21 servings in here, I think there's 10 minutes, whatever. I, I don't know. There's like there's like eight bags in here or something. I could count them. Four steam bags. So we're gonna use this ground beef. And the final ingredient to get another veggie in, because remember, this is cauliflower. There's our lean meat. And we're gonna go broccoli. All right, so I wanna show you just kinda in front of me what we have. And I'm gonna kinda drag in this freaking video out a little bit, but that's okay. I told you I was gonna give you a little trick. So if you wanted to, you could also get these, I think these are like 90 seconds white rice at Costco as well, so if you wanted to replace the cauliflower, like let's say you lay out six meal, meal prep containers and you want to go every other day, maybe have a little bit more heavy carbs. I think there's like 71 grams of, uh, of carbs in here, which is good longer lasting health, like energy from the carbs. So if you wanted to go like, hey, let's go Monday, we're going rice ca cauliflower, less carbs on that day, then we're going rice, blah, 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 alternate each of the days, that's great, okay? So, or just get a huge bag of rice, boil it down, and I love jasmine rice just because it's clean and 
the white rice, you know, it's, we, we can go back and forth. I just wanted to present you that option. And then with your veggie, these are, these are your kind of go-to is the ground meat, whatever kind of ground meat you want. As I said, there's five, probably 5,000 that you can pick from, but this is what we're gonna go with. Big tip on here is you wanna stay lean. Try to go as lean as possible. I think this one's 85%. I prefer it to be more 90-ish, 93%. So ground bison, ground venison, those are really good as well. The leanest that you can find, preferably grass-fed. Not gonna lie to you, I got this one from Costco, so it's not grass-fed, which I'm kind of picky about. But for the sake of this video, boom. And for the sake of your convenience, right? If you get everything from Costco, we can make it out of there pretty cheap for the week. So. Last thing, with your veggies, this oven is your best friend. Preheat this bad boy to 375, which I need to do right now. 375, cut whatever veggies you want, and we're just gonna make a meat cereal, essentially, and then add the veggies to it. So you'll see that at the end, but today our preferred method, we're just gonna put a little bit of olive oil and then salt and pepper, and throw that bad boy in there for 15, probably 20 minutes, until everything's done, this takes eight minutes in the microwave. This takes about eight to 10 minutes to cook in the skillet. Throw it all in there and you're good. So with that said, you also can do like chop up some asparagus. I like throwing some sweet potatoes. Really keep it simple. And then if you want everything to stick together, this is probably at the end, I'm getting long winded. Take an avocado as kind of like a sauce and use it to mash it all together to make it kind of sticky and all stick together and then throw some like hot sauce on it if you want a little extra sodium, but don't go over the serving size. So, wow, that was a lot longer of a clip than I thought I was gonna do, but I'm trying to provide you some value for your meals because this stuff is important. It saves you time, it saves you energy, it saves you, saves you thoughts. Think about all the times you're sitting there at work. Oh, what am I gonna go today? Chipotle, am I gonna go to Panda Express? Am I gonna go to whatever? He's like, you're wasting time. You know what you have. You know what's healthy for you, and you know you're gonna get good, clean energy and not crash after eating crap, crap, crap. So anyways, let's get into it. There's not much to get into. It's really like throw this in the microwave, cut this up and throw it in there and then salt and pepper on the ground beef, but let's do it. Getting a little hot in here. Shirt's off in the kitchen. Shirt's off. Now I'm setting the mood. All right, here we are. So first step, we're just gonna take our veggies, get these bad boys going. This is kind of routine. So some people like to save the stalks of these, this uh, broccoli. I guess I'm not, don't yell at me for that. But I just wanted to say, and also, you know, you've got your cutting board, you've got your thing here. I'm gonna use this for the olive oil. And I also like to go a little bit of coconut aminos for a little bit of flavor um, instead of soy sauce. Soy sauce, a little bit too much inflammation for me. I like it with my sushi, but anyways, I literally do this for everything. Throw those out and we're not putting them on the stove, but whatever. So I just wanted to say, you can literally do this for any freaking veggie that you wanna do on a Sunday. Take a huge platter, this is a small one because it's only just this head of broccoli. Get two baking sheets, whatever, and just chop up as many veggies as you want salt and pepper, and then throw it in the oven with some coconut aminos, and you're good. You could literally have your veggies for the entire week. Just bake them. Like, the, the baking sheet meals are the best. Throw some salmon in there. It takes 20 minutes and five minutes to prepare, and it's just, it's health, right? I could go on and on and on about this stuff, but also, we're getting two servings of veggies with the cauliflower and the broccoli. So, we're gonna do this, get it all prepped, Keep on rolling. All right, so now we've got our olive oil. We're gonna just do a little drizzle here just to get a light coat and then a little bit of coconut aminos. And then we're just gonna toss that. Boom, boom, boom. Throw a little bit more olive oil down on the pan. Super easy. Don't get too crazy. I know you can't see my head, by the way, because it's freaking vent. But hey, I'm here. Boom. Throw those on there. Like I said, do this with any veggie. Do that, boom. What do you know? Get some salt, throw some salt on there. Do whatever seasoning you want, really. I'm not that picky. Just don't go too crazy overboard with it. And then you get into your pepper. 
and woohoo, look at me. That was all of five minutes. And we are gonna throw this in the oven. Wow, that's hot. Oh my goodness. Throw that in the oven. We're gonna go for about 20 minutes right there. So total, this is like a 25 minute meal. Really, this is probably good after 15. But while that cooks, we're gonna get going on the ground beef and then the cauliflower rice will be last. I think that's eight minutes in the microwave, but it's also frozen, so I'm gonna have to do some damage with it. Lights, camera, action. All right, so here we are with the ground beef. I don't think I really need to give you a whole crazy lesson on ground beef, but I cook mine. You can go olive oil, you can go whatever oil you want. Not whatever, because some are better for you than others. Olive oil is great. I like to go coconut oil just for a little bit of extra fats. Um, also some controversy on coconut oil, but with the amount that I burn, I like to use it. If you want an overall, I would go with a good olive oil Typically, if it's in glass, it's better. And if it has the harvest date on it, then that's probably gonna be your best source of olive oil. So I know that can also get pretty pricey, but just make sure it's decent, right? So I'm gonna salt and pepper the beef, get this frizzly frying up. I'm also gonna use Buttery Steakhouse Premium Kinders just for a little extra pep in my step when I'm eating this. Because it does, it does, it, it gets boring, and that's part of it. But I know I do my stuff all kind of weird. You guys are getting a real insight to my life here. Like, oh, how does Nick cook his ground beef? Really, who cares? But it's also just like, <laughs> Jesus, Nick. Um, so yeah, that's uh, about all I had to say about that. All right, so as I'm cooking this meat, I'm just kind of thinking and reflecting. Like, this is a pound of ground meat. Generally, I think the serving size is one-fourth of a pound. You can correct me if I'm wrong on that. But I usually eat about half a pound to myself. So this would be like two days worth of it, right? So I take my veggies, split them in half. I take my cauliflower rice. There's... Probably, I think there's four servings in that bag of cauliflower rice. I need a lot of calories. I would split this all up into two days worth or two meals worth, and at least that's my lunch. Or another tip for meal prep, and I've said this before, if you don't wanna make all your meals at once, make them the night before. So whatever you make for dinner, make enough for the next day so that you eliminate that decision at lunch. So. Also, with ground beef, it's the eat or ground meat, it's the easiest thing to cook. It takes 10 minutes, and then you just throw it in a jar, heat it up, and if you wanna be boring, that's okay. I've been eating a pound of ground, ground bison the past two days, just for lunch, throw a little salt on there and a, like a tablespoon of coconut oil, and it's good. And I'll throw a little rosemary in here too, but I'm just thinking of easier ways to help you achieve your fitness goals in a healthy way while being convenient as well. I think I basically just said the same thing with different words. I'm having a self-realization as this meat cooks that if there was one video that I wish people would watch, it would be this one. I wish five million people would watch this video because this kind of stuff and this stuff that has to do with your health and habits around your fitness goals and how you think mentally and how you feel on a daily basis and your natural energy, there's nothing that's more valuable than taking this kind of stuff seriously because it does not take as much time and effort as so many people in the world think it takes. It's really not to be overcomplicated. So that's my little heartfelt clip for this episode. We're gonna do the cauliflower rice. Jojo. Oh, look at you modeling for the camera. Dang, girl. Did you? Hey, you're making it on YouTube. Do we need to make you your own channel? Huh? What do you have to say to the camera? What do you have to say? Huh? And for the final steps, add the meat after you drain it. Drain the meat, add it to a bowl. Well, yeah, you know what? 
add it to a bowl. Add it to a huge bowl. And then have your containers ready at the very end. These are the containers that I'm gonna have out. I'm really just gonna have it in this bowl and split it up into one. But for your purposes, get as many of these containers as you can. I think these are like 24 bucks at Costco for a bunch of them. Or on Amazon, they have small, like the half sizes of these for like 30 bucks for 30 of them. So grab those, they're microwavable safe. They seal and they get the job done. So we're doing this, we just, Put the meat in here, boom. Our cauliflower rice is done. Literally, take it out of the bag, it's really hot. Dump that in there. I like to go a little bit of extra olive oil in there just to get some fats in there. And then a seasoning of your choice. I'm gonna go back with the buttery steakhouse. Just a little bit of touch just to get into that cauliflower rice. Boom, now it is time for the broccoli. It's been 20 minutes. Timed everything perfectly. Last one for the bowl. Yep, there she is. Nice and crispy, just how I like it. Not too crispy, actually. That's kind of actually perfect. All right, let's do this really quick without burning myself. Really, the easiest way. Dump that sucker in there. You got about three servings of broccoli in there. All ready. Take my thing back, and you're just gonna mix it. Wow, Nick, you're a genius. That's the easiest meal prep bowl I've ever freaking seen. And then you just take it, divvy it up into your containers, and you're good. So, golly, I just, I'm, I get so passionate about this crap. And this isn't crap. Crap is like, like, this is essentially the same thing as Chipotle without 1,300 milligrams of sodium. And, oh, I'm just starting to eat healthy, I'm going to Chipotle. All right, it's a start. You went to Chipotle, it's, it's, it's a start. You're not going to McDonald's. But this, this just got you three Chipotles for half the price too, right? And like triple meat, triple chicken, triple beef, triple everything. All right, I'm gonna shut up now. And one last thing, if you really want something to make it sticky, that's weird. Without the avocado, this is a really great alternative for mayo. It's chipotle lime, real mayonnaise made with avocado oil. So it's really good at the macros, 11 grams of fat. Um, no carbs, not much sodium at all. It's really good, it's from Primal Kitchen. You can get their stuff on Amazon too. Not sponsored, just one of my favorites. They have some good flavors too. So that's pretty much gonna do it. As you can see, this is our final product. And divvy those up how you want. Make as many pounds of ground beef, ground meat as you want or rice or cauliflower rice or veggies, just how I showed you, and divvy that up for as many days as you need in the week. Put them in the fridge, have them ready to go, and you're good to go. It's like, I think it's probably right around 40 grams, at least 40 grams of protein, and not many carbs, depending on how many you are allotting to yourself with the rice, right? So, I'll actually put the exact macros in the caption for this meal itself. Boom, done, roasted. And with that said, I appreciate you tuning in to tonight's quick little dinner conversation, kitchen conversations on the tube of the U with me. If there's more stuff that you wanna see kinda of like this, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to reply to you. If you're not already, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Don't forget to like this video. I hope five million of you see it. And if you think this might help somebody, share it. That helps me a ton. And I appreciate all you, all my friends that I get on here and interact with in the comments and that you watch my content, right? So that said, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna check it out. I'm actually going to Vegas. Anyways, I'm gonna eat, have a good night, day, whatever time you're watching this. And have an awesome freaking day and don't forget to smile.